The more sense he makes, the less sense he makes. Literally, if you're trying to be a cool guy saying cool things at this point in the trial, you've you've jumped the bridge. Mm-hmm. He was at Heavenly Hall waiting for a lover that was never going to come. Ah, <laughs> uh, Feeny. Language. The victim's body wasn't flying above the bridge. It was actually sw sw What do you mean fucking swinging below? <laughs> Phoenix, that's fucking horrifying. That's right. Just like a pendulum. What the fuck? Horrifying. <laughs> 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 I thought you were just, you know, falling. Oh, 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 oh. Of all things to say, a pendulum, that voice in our heads is right. <laughs> Jesus. Sounds like he's gargling a dick. <laughs> <laughs> Man, what do you what do you feel like what do you think it's like to be like totally unaware of any of this bullshit and just like in in the fucking stands watching this? <laughs> like everybody's like, what? What the fuck? <laughs> like <laughs> All the normal people. See? If I lived in this word, world, one, I would be terrified because I know I would die by the age of 10. But until that point, I would be coming to every trial with popcorn and soda. <laughs>
In any case, let's hear your testimony. Tell us about the plan that was carried out that night. The whole plan began with my death. A stupid plan hatched by Morgan Fay to install her own daughter as the next master. But for it to work, Maya Fay would first have to die. The idea was for me to kill Maya and then have the blame pinned on Iris. The plan went wrong, but it seems to have succeeded anyway. So that means you really are- Wait a minute. Did you just say the plan was to kill Maya Fey? Yeah, yeah, Feeny. We've been, we've fucking been new here. Hello? Yes? You have a problem with that. Don't give us that nonsense, that w- Watch yourself, trite. If you've got a problem, solve it during cross-examination. That's my rule. I don't give a fucking shit about your goddamn rules. People Mr. Godot like is books. correct. <laughs> <laughs> and by the way, that's my rule as well. <laughs> I don't give a shit about your rules either. You don't even fucking... God damn it. You don't even do your job. <laughs> my brain stopped midway of your rant and I thought you said you don't even fuck <laughs> <laughs> I mean technically I think I did because my brain stopped and had a punctuation moment so it was fuck and then I went on with my sentence <laughs> that's how that's how the formulation works listen I just I can't I can't do it especially since video games get me worked up <laughs> I have to yell at things it's my only way anyway Phoenix I thought you understood that Maya was literally gonna be murdered, but okay, I guess this is news to you. To kill Maya, could it be true? The whole plan began with my death. You were executed last month, correct? Yes, I was hanged. It wasn't exactly pleasant. What are we, in 18 fucking 50? Yeah, I was just like, what? Hanging people? <laughs> Hello? Fake Japan, are you okay? <laughs> I... <sighs> How did you manage to discuss the plan? When did you talk with Morgan Fay? Last year. She was transferred to the same detention center as me. Since I was on death row and she was my mother, it was actually pretty easy to meet with her. I see. So that's when you discussed the plan. <laughs> Are you crazy? At first, that woman was planning to kill me as well. Even though I'm her own daughter. All to make Pearl Fay the master of Karain. She's a cold, twisted woman. She thought she could finally regain her lost honor. The honor she lost when her younger sister, Misty, took her place as the master. Ever since that day, She's been working on this plan. Hmm, a plan, huh? A stupid plan hatched by Morgan Fay to install her own daughter as the next master. You're talking about Pearl Fay, is that correct? Yes. Though at first she had high hopes for the two of us. You and your twin sister, Iris. That's correct. Fortunately, neither of us had much spiritual power. Oh, okay. 
That's why we were abandoned by her, along with our father. Hmm. Abandoned? The only person I ever really cared about in life was myself. My sister was a nuisance, so I convinced my father to leave her at an old temple. Jesus fuck! <laughs> and your dad just did that? Like, hello? What kind of man? <laughs> I mean, all she had to do was say, you'll save more money! I guess. You mean, Iris? Yes. My father remarried a woman who also had a daughter. <sighs> the less children you have, the more money there is to go around, right? <laughs> and on Jesus. top of that, my father had absolutely no interest in children in general. No, this is like the triple whammy of fucking suck, dude. <laughs> How horrible. <laughs> the real horrible one was that woman. That bitter, vengeful woman. That's where I got it from. It was her stubbornness that gave birth to that child, Pearl Fay. She was born with an abundance of spiritual power, unfortunately for her. Morgan Fay heaped all of her broken hopes and dreams onto that poor child's back. You having fucking sympathy for that that baby? I'm confused. <laughs> Because it's not even real sympathy. It's like pity. <laughs> I guess, yeah. That's probably more apt. Yeah. All because of her pathetic dreams of having her bloodline become the main family. <laughs> but for it to work, Maya Faye would first have to die. Maya would have to die? But why? Feeny, you're being really thick right now. For our bloodline to succeed as the main family, thus making Pearl the new master, the remaining descendants of the current master have to be taken care of. Objection! But Pearls would never agree to a plan like that. She adores Maya. How sad. You still don't get it, do you? What Pearl wanted had nothing to do with it. Morgan didn't care one bit about Pearl. The only thing she cared about was the position of the master. That's all. Th that's ridiculous. She was willing to sacrifice anything and anyone to achieve her goal. The life of her daughter, and naturally, the life of Maya Faye as well. Boy, fucking sucks to have siblings, huh? How could anyone do that? The idea was for me to kill Maya and then have the blame pinned on Iris. Y you? You were going to kill Maya? Pearl didn't need to know anything about it. All she had to do was to follow the instructions in the letter and channel me. Then I would have simply used her body and finished the job. In any case, I'm already dead, and there's nothing any of you can do to me. <laughs> So, the plan was to blame the crime on your younger sister. On Sister Iris of Hasakura Temple. She and I look absolutely identical. No one can tell us apart. If someone were to witness me killing Maya, naturally, they would think it was Iris that had done it. And the witness in this case was the head nun, Sister Bikini. I never would have guessed she was going to return to Hazakura Temple that night. But... She wound up seeing Iris' crime anyway. 
but why did you want to pin the murder on Iris in the first place? She's your twin sister, isn't she? <laughs> twin sister? Don't make me laugh. She's nothing but a backstabber. I couldn't care less about her. Backstabber. <laughs> you just don't understand. You never will. Anyway. I don't think I will, because I don't think I have siblings. Phoenix doesn't have siblings, right? I'm not wrong nope. in that? That's, that's like one of the very few things that's confirmed about his family life, that he's a single child. Okay. The plan went wrong, but it seems to have succeeded anyway. You think the plan was a success? You heard me. Just as that woman had hoped. <laughs> Maya Faye is dead. Now the title of the master will pass on to Pearl Fay. Th that's absurd. M Maya is just s sleeping. She's just trapped. Trapped inside the sacred cavern. Really? <laughs> You're as foolishly optimistic as ever, aren't you? My darling Feeny. <laughs> <laughs> Do you want to know the truth? Ever since we met, I've despised you. Your sniveling naivety and your pathetic faith in other people. I just want to know one thing. What did you personally think of Morgan Fay's plan? I told you already, didn't I? It was a stupid plan. It had no point, no value other than fulfilling her own greedy desires. Yes, it was certainly nothing to be proud of. If that's how you feel, why did you help her carry it out? Why would you do it? Why would you kill Maya? You may not understand it, being the kind and gentle soul that you are. You may not be able to appreciate why someone like me would help a woman like that. So then tell me, why? Isn't it obvious? I'm not like that woman. I only act in my own self-interest. The reason I helped her was... for myself. For my own personal satisfaction. What did you say? So this woman, Dahlia Hawthorne... She had her own reason for wanting Maya dead? Do you understand why I would kill Maya Fey now? What my goal was? Obviously, it's because you were helping Morgan Fay. Helping? Don't make me laugh. From the day I was born to the day I died, I never helped anyone. I lived for myself, and in the end, I died for myself. I thought that was obvious. So she wasn't actually cooperating with Morgan. She was just using Morgan and her plan so she could accompli uh, accomplish her own goal. All I wanted to do was kill Maya Faye. That was the only way I could think of to get revenge. Revenge? Oh, Phoenix, are you stupid? It looks like I have no choice but to present that piece of evidence. I can't believe it. She meant to kill Maya. I've got to keep a cool head. And I need to get more information out of her. It's the only way to understand this plan, and what she was after as well.
I don't understand a goddamn thing except for she wants to fuck up people. Could it be that your actual goal had nothing to do with Maya Fey herself? As I said, none of you have the power to punish me anymore. Because I'm already dead. Well, I had the same problem, you see. You can't punish the dead, and you can't take revenge against them either. You wanted to take revenge on someone. See, I thought it was Phoenix. But now I, I understand. I was sentenced to die because of that woman. Mia Fey. I somehow knew this was it. I wanted to send her a message. It was at her hands that I suffered my first humiliation. I wanted her to feel the same pain she made me feel. Sadly, when I realized revenge was impossible, I gave up. And the reason it was impossible? Was it perhaps because Mia Fey had already died? Yes, and I realized there's only one way to take revenge against the dead. And how do you do that? Even when the body dies, the spirit, the ego, it lives on forever. I wanted to take away the person that Mia Fey loved the most. I wanted to kill her with my own hands. That would be the one and only way I could take my revenge against Mia Fey. That was the reason I helped out with that woman's plans. Just for that? For that you would kill Maya? Your goal was no different than that of Morgan Fay. As they say, the apple doesn't fall far from the tree. Oh! <laughs> but a cruel plan. Cruel, cold, and heartless. <clears throat> Don't waste your time preaching to the dead. I have a cupcake in my mouth. <laughs> Wait, what did you say, Coco? Dad wants to have a snack. <laughs> I said I have a cupcake in my mouth. <laughs> oh my god, I heard the other word. <laughs> What's the other word? <laughs> the word that didn't make sense because Coco is Coco. <laughs> <laughs> cupcake does have a lot of sounding sounds. Sounding sounds, yes. <laughs> uh, yeah. Mm -hmm. <laughs> I've already told you there's not a thing you can do to me. <laughs> that night. At about 9.30pm, I materialized into this world. I quickly pinned my hair up and put on a demon warding hood. Then I picked up the staff that was by my side and left Hazakura Temple. So, it was Elise Donim who channeled her after all. That ridiculous head nun never noticed a thing. She left Maya Fey at the inner temple, and wobbled back, clutching her poor, owed back. What did you do then? That kid was easier to handle than I had hoped. I caught up with her in front of the stone lantern. Then I took out the dagger I got from the storeroom and... So then you... You're saying you stabbed Maya? It's strange, but... 
I don't have a clear memory of what happened after that. What does that mean? No clear memory. I don't know. I think... I think I was stabbed. You were stabbed? At the last minute, Maya Fey must have stabbed me. I'm sure of it. Okay. But here's a question. How are you here now if you and your sister don't actually have channeling power that's good enough? Who are you inhabiting right now? Because at least Donum's dead. Who the fuck is this? I don't like how you guys are being very, very, very quiet over there. I'm eating my cupcake. <laughs> Leave me alone. I'm not... Coco, I'm uh, not... I'm eating... Something. Leave me alone. <laughs> God damn it. Why must you both be like this? <laughs> it's not like her at all. Maya wouldn't stab a french fry with a plastic fork. Are you sure? Are you sure about that? Or are you just saying that she would use chopsticks? <laughs> I, I don't understand. Anyway, I suddenly lost consciousness. But before I did, I scrawled her name on the lantern. Just as I was passing out, I wrote Maya behind my back. And I had hoped it would cast suspicion on her. I, I can't believe she was thinking of that until the bitter end. And that's where my memory temporarily stops. It stops. I don't have any memory of actually killing Maya Fey with my own two hands. My very last memory was... Maya's terror-filled eyes. When I woke up after that, I was in the sacred cavern surrounded by darkness. You were in the sacred cavern. The entrance was sealed with one of those trick locks. Somehow, I had been trapped in there. But how did you wind up in there? I'd like to know that myself. Anyway, I was worried. I didn't know whether or not Maya Fey was dead. But I swore I wouldn't return to the Underworld until I knew I had killed her myself. Or a ghost, you're one tough cookie. I wanted to get out of there and make sure she was dead. But I couldn't do it. I couldn't get out. The trick lock stopped you, huh? I didn't know how to remove it. When you're saying you were actually confined against your will inside this sacred cap. Yeah, that's what jail means. <laughs> yes, I wanted to get rid of that annoying lock as soon as possible. But it wasn't easy. I kept getting interrupted while I was working on it. Interrupted. It was early in the morning, but someone came into the training hall. What? Who? Could it have been Maya? I thought the same thing, but I couldn't see. Why not? If someone had spotted me, I would have lost my chance to take revenge. So I made sure to hide myself well at the back of the sacred cavern. That morning, only two people could have gone into the training hall. Maya and Pearls. Pearls went there to cover the hanging scroll in gravy. Still, I finally managed to remove the lock. But I was too late. What do you mean by that? The flies had already started to gather. 
after the bridge had been fixed and the police had started their investigation, correct? Naturally, I couldn't go out. So instead, I returned to the cavern and put the lock back on myself. I realized I wouldn't get a chance to see Maya's corpse as I had hoped. But just then, Lady Luck showed up. Lady Luck? After that big earthquake, she showed up all by herself. The real Iris. She said she'd come to make sure the secret cavern was alright. Stupid girl. I came out from the secret cavern and got a feel for the situation. And I locked her away in my place. I had finally learned exactly what had happened. It was then that I learned that the plan had actually succeeded. What do you mean your plan had succeeded? I had misunderstood one thing, you see. That night, the one that had summoned me, I had assumed that it was Pearl Fay. Well, of course, you would have assumed that. It was written in the instruction. But I was wrong. The person that had actually called my spirit back was... Misty Fay, the picture book author. And with that, we will end this episode right here. Thank you guys for joining us, and see you next time. Bye! Bye!